Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. has the physique to play as a centre forward but for me he's always a little more effective in wider areas where he can isolate his full back or, or cut inside and, and whether from open play or a free kick he can thump a football I think the opposition defence agree too it's going to be the source of so many of their headaches Walk forward what does he try from here looks to slip it through and Umfila He's done it! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. It's 1-0. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Anyukov. It's a forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. So what now? Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Vitzol. Done very well to intervene. Vindila. ball through he's got away with one there just about enough on that but all at the expense of a corner Danny plays it short. Javi Garcia! <laughs> Needed a better pass there. And it's Cochrane. Dinks one in. And scored inside the first ten minutes to make it 1-0. Tavi Garcia, Danny, the 
Witzel. Looks like a good ball through. It'll be a throw in. Goes wide. Tries to cut back. Firmly met. Other side really getting hold of the ball. Lombards. Fischito. Not much subtlety. He's launched himself there. Tries a through ball. Oh, he's in. He's away. It's come back out. He has done it. Two up and threatening to pull clear. He was really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Cochrane. Witzel. Really struggling to influence the game. Well, he appears to be singled out here as the enemy number one, and, and he's the one that they're looking to get to first. And I think they think if they get to him, then they're probably going to stop the main threat. So I think um, they've got to come up with a, a fresh idea to, to combat that. Plays it out to the flank. Moves for the cross. Oh, that's been repelled. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he just opted for raw power. Now the pass. He's got through. Off. Pumps it into the area. Brings it forward, passes it through. It's got through to him. He's had a shot! They are rampant! And surely that settles it! I just think he showed a lovely appreciation of where that defensive line formed and he held his run until just the right moment and he broke the offside trap and uh, he took full advantage, that's top marks for me. Without reply, this is becoming a stroll. Cochrane. Lombards. Witzel. Fischito. That had to be 
more accurate. Umvila hurtles into the tackle. Umvila. Umvila. How about it? And he should have made it four. I think when you're in front of goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Lombards, Crescito, Cochrane, looks to slip it through, Polk, Tari Garcia, Witzel, Cochrane, Crescito, crunching tackle, who's going to make this theirs? towards the front. Now the pass. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Can he score? Danny knocks it away. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Things going for the second half, and it's Kokorin. Witzel with a delicate ball. For a moment, you thought that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Nabokov. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Plenty waiting in the middle. Promising cross. He's gone for it. He scores. Ruthless and relentless. Utterly rampant. Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Lombards, Crescito, Cochrane, another piece of really good defending. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. It was, uh, it was a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Good 
running with the ball. Can they build on it? What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions, and the risk has been deservedly rewarded. Kokorin. Fine defending there. And Vila is the route one option. Out wide to the right. Tries a through ball. It's a brilliant interception. Away from immediate danger. Looks like a good ball through. Cochrane. Witzel, Danny. And it's Hulk. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Hulk. They've scored! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Zenit St. Petersburg grab a goal, but it's hard to see it as anything much more than a consolation. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, great run, magical! Tries a through ball, played out wide. Anyukov gets into a good position. Smart save, it's a loose ball. Chip through. Zenit St. Petersburg awarded another corner. It's on a plate. Can he score? He's put it wide. He was right in front of goal, and he probably should have scored, to be fair. Direct. Passes it through. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Great run, this is covered quite a distance. And the ball's come out! Zenit St. Petersburg have a free kick. Got good distance on that. It's all. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? 
Don't try from distance. He's put his foot right through that one. He knows very well he can score from that distance. Not quite this time. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. He's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. The right. Danyakov. Plotting from out on the right-hand side. Into stoppage time. They must make something of this. Looks to slip it through. Oh, position to make that interception. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Javi Garcia. Ward shows there will be three extra minutes. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's on the charge, but he's on his own for now. Hulk. The final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, I think when you score with your first effort in goal, there's a good chance that things are uh, going to go your way for the rest of the game. And to be fair, they used the impetus it gave them to gain a level of control, and I think they went on and deserved to win. That's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.